It's your buddy Red, Joe Redbeard, along here with my sidekick, Cousin Dylan. Red. Yeah. <laughs> so, before I forget, you guys can always reach me at rockuppodcast at gmail.com. Send me an email, I will check it and get back to you. Also, send me fucking MP3s of music and I will play it if it's any good. Um... And, uh, yeah, start with my sponsors. My big sponsor is Blackbird Tattoo and Piercing. 300 South State, Clearfield, Utah. Go there, make an appointment, get yourself tattooed, get yourself pierced. They are following all the uh, nice safety guidelines and all that, so you got to make yourself an appointment, go in there, get your shit handled. Also, Anti All Forever Records. Go to Spikes and Hate Store com. Support that real underground metal. <clears throat> good evening, Dylan. Good evening, Joe. How are you tonight? I'm doing pretty good. I've had a few. How many have you had? Have you uh, had a lot? Four or five. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, you're about to have one more. Getting into the wild turkey. Yeah. Right here. He brought, Dylan, Cousin Dylan was nice enough to bring a bottle of wild turkey, which always reminds me of Hunter S. Thompson. Um, so, everybody pour yourself a little shoddy shot, single or double, whatever you got in front of you. And uh, how we always do. Cheers. Alright. For the lost. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that bourbon. That's nice, isn't it? That bourbon. Ooh, that bourbon. That's really good stuff. It is good stuff. I like that. Woo. I haven't had bourbon in some time now. It's been a minute. Ah. Oh, wow, this old Rasputin. Yeah, I got I got Cousin Dylan a fucking bottle of old Rasputin. That just, is a thick flavor, man, but I, I like that. It is, yeah. You can taste the chocolate in that a little bit. I wouldn't want to drink that warm. No, no, man, no. So we got some shitty news about the band Vermin Scourge. What's that? Um, they're like a, they were a great like little war metal band out of Portland area. Mm-hmm. Well, today I saw on their page they posted something about how they're going on hold indefinitely and. They uh, just fucking aren't doing it. And I guess they got fucked over by the record label. What was the name of that record label? Death Camp. Death Camp Records. So, fuck you, Death Camp Rep- Records. And, uh, yeah, man. Vermin Scourge was a band I was very excited about. And fucking... It sucks that they're... Uh, they're not gonna do anything for... I don't know. If they ever get back together or, like, what, what the fuck's going on. But that sucks. That sucks because I was a cool band and I was into their shit. Um, well, that's the way she goes. Is that on the soundtrack for tonight? Or? No, I mean we could play some Vermin Scourge, but yeah, yeah. You think we should? I think we ought to check it out. All right, hang on. All right, well fuck it. I couldn't find the fucking Vermin Scourge shit that I played a while ago, but it was a while ago. So just go listen to the uh, back episodes of Rocket Podcast, and you can fucking find it. But in related news to Vermin Scourge, I did hear about a new band. I don't know if they're a new band. Maybe they're a new band. Maybe not. Either way, I did hear this one band from the same area, Portland, called Directive. They're off of nihilistic noise propaganda. Um, And uh, their shit is very fucking... uh, it's very cool. Um, it's like they have a it, so it's a free like download for their five songs on Bandcamp. Directive is just spelled exactly how 
you know, the word directive. <laughs> anyway, yeah, Port, they're Portland based. They're on nihilistic noise propaganda. Um, very, um, very fucking uh, revenge influenced. A lot of noise. Their uh, five songs sound like a goddamn war zone. There's uh, helicopters and machine guns and all kinds of like crazy shit in the background. Definitely war metal. Yeah. Um, so I listened to the five songs today a couple times, and I definitely decided on my favorite song from it, which we're going to play right now. It's called Wolves Come Snarling by Directive, off of their five song release, Beget New Eras. Titties. Hard tits.
God damn. That is chaos. That's what chaos sounds like right there. That is fucking war. That's what you hear when you roll a fucking car. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you the hear. devil screaming yeah. in your ear and fucking hellfire yeah. and death. Then you land back on the Twist, tires and it's all good. Twisted metal and shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Holy shit. No, uh, isn't that fun? That's, that's nice, yeah. All right, so I got I got a little I got a little story to tell. Um, so there I am at Target doing some grocery shopping, and um, I'm uh, looking at some shorts because they were on clearance sale. Who's wearing them? I was trying to buy some. Oh, so they were nobody's wearing them. No one's in the shorts yet. No, okay. they're on the clearance you rack. Yeah, I bought some too. I'm excited oh, okay. about it. Short shorts or are we above the knees here? No, no. I'm not let me only let me pull that off. Um okay. anyway, um I feel this motherfucker staring at me. I feel someone staring at me. Yeah. It's like, what the fuck? I always have my pocket knife on me just in case, but I'm just like, what the fuck is this dude staring at? Cuz you could feel when a motherfucker's staring at you, but you don't know, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. And I look up and it's one of my oldest buddies who just did uh, six years in prison. He just got out, I think, August. And it was fucking great, man. It was awesome seeing him. But we sat there talking for like a good half hour. And he's like, yeah, man, I get out of prison. And fucking the whole goddamn world's gone crazy. <laughs> but it was funny. And uh, he did tell me. About this podcast called Brohio, B R O H I O. I can already see the visors and sunglasses. And there, I hope so. <laughs> Gee, dear God, yes. Um, but he's like, these guys are funny as fuck, and they talk about like weird paranormal serial killer and all that shit that he, we, he and I are both into. But they're funny as fuck. So tonight at work, I listened to the first, or I will listen to the most recent episode of it. And on it, the host of the show calls his mom, who's like this uh, school teacher, maybe elementary school teacher. And he reads her the lyrics to Cardi B's WAP. <laughs> <laughs> People at work. Within context or just opened up with that? Yeah, man. He, did he, he tell her, hey. He said, this is what the kids are going to be talking about this yeah. next school year. And he just reads the fucking <laughs> lyrics yeah. straight up. Uh-huh. Oh, my He's God, dude. I was yeah. laughing my ass <laughs> off so hard at work, dude. And, like, fucking, I was, like, I was almost crying laughing. Everybody at work was, like, fucking, what the fuck is this dude listening to? So, it's funny shit. And tonight they talked about voodoo. And even when they're, like... Mm-hmm. Doing their subject matter shit. It's still pretty fucking funny. So. If you guys get a chance. Check out Brohio. And they don't need my help. They don't need me to fucking tell you about them. But because I recognize funny shit and real shit when I hear it. So. I highly advise you guys fucking go check that podcast out. Yeah. Yeah man. things all around. We, We appreciate everybody. Yeah, good shit. I'm going to open up my Rasputin. Entertain the people, Dylan. All right, well, uh... <laughs> that's, yeah, I've had, a, I've had a few, like I've said before. Hmm. Hmm. But, uh, I went around today, uh, I was supposed to be working. Had, to had be. a few jobs, a few jobs we got done, but ended up just hitting these thrift stores. And, uh... Ooh. We get into this one thrift store, and uh, the, there's this gay guy. He's the he's the cashier, and he's he's talking to this kid. This kid's trying to walk out of the store with something in his hand. He's like, "Hey, you can't leave the store." He just runs to this kid, grabbing on this kid and stuff, and his, his dad's yelling at him. Guy looks at this kid, tries to take a knee, <laughs> and give him a lesson. Just talk to him for a bit. Kid punches him in the nuts. <laughs> 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 looks at his dad and says, we don't talk faggots. I'm just <laughs> like, holy shit. Jesus Christ. That's Where a, the hell is this kid from? That's a hate crime. Yeah. I guarantee he's from Kearns. And I seen that. <laughs> <laughs> or Tooele. I was like, fuck, 
am I glad I'm not working right now? <laughs> it's so worth it. And as I'm laughing, my boss hits me in the nuts. Yeah. With a toe strap. <laughs> so, like on purpose? Oh, yeah. Like, it's stop fucking laughing and shit. Dude. Like, stop fucking laughing? Well, give me the idea. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and so I go and pull a Johnny Knoxville on him and uh, standing next to him in line, just pull my leg out and heal him right in the fucking mouth. <laughs> <laughs> he turns around and blocks me right in the chest. But yeah, that was uh, that was my days there. Goddamn, adventures of fucking cousin Dylan. <laughs> that was fucking. It was great. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hate crimes and nut taps. Yeah. Well, fuck. Nuts. It, it was the entire set. No. Oh, damn. There's no missing the other nut with a toe strap. Yeah. That's a decent size. This fucking rat. How you like? How you liking this Rasputin? Do you like it? It's pretty good, man. I got him a Rasputin beer. I might have to get a Coors in me though. If you got a Coors. In I got Miller. Oh, Miller. Huh? Yeah, I brought one for you. Yeah. Got one of them. We drink when we do this. Oh, that's the only way I can open up. Yeah, it's the only way you can really talk. It's the only, <laughs> the only way Kyle could open up. We yeah. have a cousin named Kyle. He's going to go do some fucking stock car racing up in Idaho Falls. So, good luck to you, Kyle. We love you. Yeah, we're rooting for you, pal. Anyway, uh, <laughs> we're pulling for you, big guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be pissing like a champ in no time. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think he got second place in his uh, last race. Yeah. Was Something that the one? like that. And... Yeah. Doing pretty fucking good. Man. Was that the one we were watching at the family reunion? Yeah. Yeah. He did really fucking good on that race. You apparently. know, Rasputin changed the entire flavor of. Yeah, it does. Life. It does. It's like. That stained my taste. You, you know what it's kind of comparable to? It's like um, when you eat real chocolate, like 80%, 70% cacao mm -hmm. versus like a Snickers where it's nothing but fucking white sugar. Yeah. Like, you definitely fucking notice, this, like, a difference. It's crazy. I don't have that luxury. I've never had 80% cacao. Do you like dark chocolate? You like you uh, like, you like like bourbon and cigars, so you probably yeah. like dark chocolate. I like dark chocolate on things. I don't like just eating it. No? Up, no? Well, you can't eat a whole bar of it. You gotta freeze no, I it. I can't do what I can do with milk chocolate with dark chocolate. No. No, and there's a reason for that. It's, yeah. You know what I mean? Well, I do have this gut. Well, that I'm currently looking at. You have the Jackson gut, it's fine. The Jackson gut can kiss my ass. The Jackson gut is real, dude. I'm going to do something about this gut. Those little boys upstairs have the Jackson yeah. gut. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, man, like cig cigars, whiskey, dark chocolate, like all those kind of like really bold, rich flavors. A lot of people that like those things will like, you know what I mean, other things. But... Yeah, that would be killer to if we could have a cigar. Well, these, but obviously not it, in the not in this uh, house. We have we got to build the uh, uh, the clubhouse, not yes. not the kids' clubhouse, but the other clubhouse, the like clubhouse clubhouse, and then we'd be, be the permanent podcast. Room. No, it'd be a permanent podcast room. Yeah, we're getting settled, but you know we're all slowly working towards that. We're all pink on the inside. You know what I mean? Yeah. We're all Unless just drinking another Rasputin. We're all just we're all just goo. Alright. I'm gonna play some shit. Play some shit. I'm gonna play some anal vomit from Peru. <laughs> Jesus. What dude? <laughs> Do you like that name? That's badass, yeah. Anal vomit. <laughs> and it's okay. not just not just a clever man. Not, good, a, no. not just a clever band clever band name. Yeah. It's actually pretty good. Uh, don't burp on the mic. Oh, dude. Don't. Don't. First recipe out of the way. You can't burp on the mic. My That's the rule. Justin. Justin. What the My fuck? My body's adjusting. What are you calling me Justin for? Okay. Um, anal vomit, guys. Uh, Sendero Siniestro. I hope I said that right. I think it sounded good. <laughs> Sendero Yeah, 
Just, just <laughs> anal vomit. That's even worse. That was a badass name. Song is Sendero Siniestro. Uh, Siniestro. That was from a um. Excuse me. That was from a compilation. Uh, that I got. It's a lot of um Spanish bands or Hispanic bands or whatever the fuck. Anyway, those guys are from Lima, Peru. Me and my wife went there once upon a time. It was a great time. Anyway. Uh, it's off of like an 18 band compilation called El Matadero de Cristo. So, I think that's like the murderer of Christ or something like that. The murderer of Christ. There you go. I think it's the murderer of Christ. Anyway. What is it? El Matadero, Matadero. de Cristo. Murderer, that, yeah. murderer of Christ. Sounds... Well, you know, they don't. I don't know Spanish. What is that? What? That would be considered... Spanish. Peruvian? No, Spanish. Spanish. They speak Spanish in Peru. Okay. They've yeah. been half retarded. All those... I think that's prevalent. All of them except for, like, Brazil all speak Spanish. Oh, okay. Yeah. Peru speaks Portuguese. Yeah. Same with Brazil? Oh, I'm sorry. Peru does not speak Portuguese. Peru speaks yeah. Spanish. Brazil speaks Portuguese. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Peru's cool as shit. Peru's like a college town. Is it? Oh, yeah, man. Don't they have, like, all those dogs running around and shit? No, dude. Yeah, that's like that. that's bullshit. Now, we're, oh. th- that band is from where we were in Peru called Lima. It's the main, like, city other than Cusco. Oh, okay. But, no, fucking Peru's <clears throat> fucking badass. And it's like a college. It reminded me of college town. Uh, there's a big... Uh, I, w- I went down there to get tattooed. Um just like on a whim i got tattooed at a tattoo convention here in salt lake and the dude ramon mendoza lived in peru and he was just up here to fucking tattoo people for a convention ends up tattooing uh like tibetan demon on my arm and um he had to do a black and white because he has you know hard on time anyway we got talking about heavy metal music and all this shit and he's like yeah i live down in peru I was like, well, fuck, man. I'll come down to Peru and hang out, and you can finish this tattoo and color it in for me. He's like, you come down to Peru, I'll put you up in my place. And we fucking both made good on We both made good on it. And me and Giselle went down to Peru back in 2004. And uh, we went to, like, a heavy metal bar. He was, like, one of the co-owners in. And a big old fight broke out. It was fucking crazy. Um... And we went to like a kind of, it was like almost like the Peruvian version of the Warped Tour through a lot of punk rock bands. There was like one good heavy metal band that played. And then there was a bunch of shit bands. But yeah, man, Peru's fucking cool as shit. I'd love to go back there because Peru's fucking cool. We even make it down to Cusco to see Machu Picchu or any of that shit. We just hung out and uh, got tattooed and 
went around eating food and shit. We went to the catacombs and saw skulls and shit oh, from that's monks. Right. Yeah. How, how far did you go into the catacombs? All the way through. You go through this uh, like church called San Francisco, uh-huh. and they take you down into the catacombs. And it's like, when, yeah, man, it's like, there's like, I have pictures of it somewhere, but like, there's like bones everywhere and fucking skulls and shit, and it's pretty wild. Yeah, and there's people that get lost in there, right? Still to this day, I mean, they, they've got no, pretty no. well guarded off. But... No, they guide, they always have a guide yeah. with you to well, go. Well, people th- that break into it and shit, those are the kind of people that get lost. I don't know, they got pretty secured off, like, yeah. they don't fucking want people going in there, because like. Like, those monks' bones, those are like sacred relics to them, you know? Yeah. Oh, so they're monks. Yeah, the bones of everyone in there is like a bunch of monks and nuns and stuff that... Oh, shit. Yeah. But they're piles of bones. So what the fuck is Piles of bones. Why would they do that? What? What is the whole point in... What, what are they... Are they all dying in there? Or what the fuck is going on here? No, the, I mean, they're all they're just... stacking them up then. Just dead people, yeah. I mean, it's yeah, from... I mean, that church was... Yeah, the church was built. Well, I mean, it's like a whole long path of shit, of like a trail underground. Okay. And it's just full of like these bones, but like they're. But isn't it hundreds of channels? Of no. Different areas of places to go? or No, not really. No. Oh, okay. It's like. like it's I like... watched that movie as above, so below. Oh, yeah. And I haven't done a lot of research myself. On yeah. Catacombs, but like, you know, seeing that. Now, the only. The only ones I've been into are the Peruvian ones. So, I mean, I can't okay. speak on, oh, like... I'm thinking of, this is in Paris. And so, the thing... I thought, they, I thought there was only one catacomb. No, man. They got the catacombs place? in Spain. They got catacombs yeah. in Paris. Peru. I bet they have them in most, like, the fucking, like, very, very yeah. Catholic countries. But, it's so, like, this church was built in, like, I'm not even sure. I think it was, like, 1700. So, everyone that's worked, every nun, priest, or whatever... That's been there, died. And that, that's where their yeah. fucking bones are. <laughs> oh yeah, that's metal. yeah, that is pretty metal. Yeah. Oh fuck a duck. Ah oh, god. Okay, so I do have a topic to talk about. Like, uh, what the fuck is everyone gonna do for like Halloween? <clears throat> because of the COVID shit, right? Yeah. I mean, me, myself, I don't, I'm not going to go out and party no more. I'm not really about that. No. Um, I think that's not a wise decision. Yeah. At the same time, it's, it's, it's been one hell of a year. Yeah. People are going to do what they're going to do, but it's been this long with COVID going around. I think if you're, if you're still around to this day, you've been doing the same old shit. You've yeah. Been doing before. Yeah. Not taking any precautions, there's a good chance you probably already had it, didn't even notice. Yeah, like not people don't notice. Non symptomatic, yeah. Yeah. And you could get tested still and that looks bad on paper. But even if you were completely fine. Yeah. You know, it's just like, you know, this is how many people were reported with COVID. So here's my thoughts on it. On Halloween uh-huh. and COVID. So you gotta be six feet away from people, right? Unless people that you really, really know. It's well, not gonna happen. Out in Hall- out on Halloween night, you're already outside. And you're already kind of away from people. Yeah. You're wearing a costume. So chances are if you could just make it a costume that has a mask. Right? Mm -hmm. So it seems like if people would just fucking like make it so that people don't have to walk up to them and get the candy. Yeah, I think it's more on the people that are giving the candy out. That's going to be the important part here. So because well, that's gonna that's gonna make it yeah. a smooth walk. Yeah. With the families and kids. Yeah. Just so they can go up and grab it. Yeah. Uh, and be safe instead of putting their hand. Up so there. I'm gonna build one of those fucking PVC slides. Okay. Because our yard is already slanted downways. Yeah. So we we'll, we always have a fire going for Halloween because it's so wind. So you're supposed to light a fire. You're supposed to light like a, you know, good sized fire. So we burn all we burn a fire all night and listen to the misfits. Not a giant one. We just got that fire that little mellow fire pit we got. It doesn't have to be mellow. Mellow? That's a badass fire pit. Well I don't want to get too I don't want to get too crazy just because it's gonna be close to the house. But yeah. 
But I'm gonna build a fucking like a PVC slide, and just kind of decorate it and shit, and put the candy at the end of the slide, and then it slides down into the kid's fucking basket. And how fun is that for a kid? Yeah, that would be pretty badass. Yeah. I mean, even just uh, I don't know, just having just having bags separated far enough from each other. Yeah. To where, like, when a kid's gonna go grab that bag, yeah, you could just replace it with another one, yeah, in the same area or bowl or whatever the hell, yeah. And I think, yeah, I think it's 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 gonna be more on people that are handing out the candy, but I think they, I think all the kids should go out and do Halloween still. Yeah, they man. Did. Yeah, I think so too. I, mean, I think they've so. had a lot of time it's, away from school. It's been a shit year. Still been going through. The they got kicked year. out of school early. Yeah. Maybe they're in school right now. Maybe they're fucking stuck at home doing computer school. Uh-huh. And that sucks. You know, because you don't get to see your friends or anything. You're stuck at home. So you got to still, like, make it nice for the kids and make it fun for the kids. You know what I mean? Yeah, and it's, it's going to be fun for the kids. It's going to be different. But... It's getting hot in here. I got to open that door. Yeah. It's getting hot in here. Ugh. So but... steamy topics here. Steaming, you think that? Yeah, cool. But that's yeah, it's gonna be fun. I mean, I, I'm excited. I, I'm looking forward to having a couple. Of I'm still taking the kids out. We're just gonna go to houses that we kind of know. Yeah. Just go to friends' houses that you know that, and we're we're still gonna take the kids out. We'll probably block their you know wear masks on our faces and have them wear masks on their faces and shit. Yeah. Luckily, they're three, so they're they're not gonna. The mask that they're wearing for the costume. Yeah. Which they might not even need the. Uh, obviously, it's not gonna be as good as the M95. M95. Uh, that's the uh, like standard mask you need for uh, to be effective. Oh yeah. yeah, but I think since we're outside anyway, I think we're okay. Yeah, and I think if they have like a mask for their costume that like comes with it, like that's good enough. Like whatever. You know, yeah. Whatever. Well, plus they're three, so they're not going to be yeah. out long. Yeah, we're going to go. We're going to hit a couple houses and come back here. You know what I mean? Yeah, and then you're going to eat all the candy. God, if it's chocolate, then going to leave them a little bit. But if it's just the way she goes. That's what we if it, it, look forward to. If it, if it's if it's chocolate, they're in trouble. Yeah, I'm a chocoholic. Well, you're also, you're also a fat ass. So oh my fine. goodness, jeez. Oh my. Jeez. Don't take it too hard. I'm a hypocrite. I'll give it to you hard. What? Gross. Alright. I'm going to pull... like an anal bead. What does? You. I do? Yeah. Because I'm round? I don't know if you guys knew that Joe was bald. You might have seen him with a little, little peach fuzz up top. Yeah. He likes to rock it pretty chrome domish. I do. I take it all the way down to the skin. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it is circumcised. And it's beautiful. <laughs> it does look pretty nice. Yeah. It is nice. Yeah. I mean, I'd, I'd pat you on the head for good luck, but I, I'd be afraid to get a sack tap. You would get a sack tap. A little squirrel tap. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's play a song. Okay. I'm going to play a song from a band. I'm going to make a prediction about. We might play two songs. No, we're not going to play these songs. Yeah. Not right now. Oh. Yeah. During the break. I'm going to make a prediction about this band. Uh-huh. This band's going to get big. Okay. This band is on its way. It's going to get hit like Marduk fucking behemoth like levels of that a black metal band can hit. Uh-huh. Okay. That's my, that is my fucking prediction for the Infernal Sea and their album Agents of Satan with the song Agents of Satan It doesn't matter who you are what you look like your age or what race you are it makes no difference you are all at risk
Agents of Satan by Infernal Sea. And we got time, so I'm going to play a song by the band. So good luck. 